there she is. Oh my god. I love my wife. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back on King Arthur. I've been uh, messing around here, not really playing too seriously yet. I've sort of just, just been coming online and spending my energy in the dungeons. Uh, just whenever I have uh, free time, like I'm doing something on the side. Haven't really delved into this, but I want to start um, like just dipping my toes a little bit more into it to understand how everything works and then hopefully, potentially, start doing more content on this on this but right now we're sort of in the discovery mode of the game trying to understand everything i know scratch came out with a beginner's guide and i thought that was really nice that was really helpful but um i figured i don't want to watch the entire entirety of it i, I kind of want to like learn things for myself for a bit Th there are some things in life where i'm just like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna you know just take take it from somebody else so i can save myself time you know learn from somebody else or, you know, do something so that I can not make that same mistake. So that's one thing that I like to do. But sometimes with this, you know, low, um, low cost on my end, I think learning how to do things myself is okay. So we, un I think since the last time I saw you guys on King Arthur, we unlocked this boss, Gorgos, and from him we get gold and XP which I think is pretty nice. XP you use for your heroes. Over here we use, or we, we fight the big giant electric boar and we get different types of mana orbs that we can use to advance our characters. These areas have not been unlocked yet, but I'm excited to fight these guys. Like this guy looks fucking nasty, like a monster hunter character. These all look like monster hunter characters. Not exactly, but things that I could, with a little bit of adjustments, I could see I could see them being in Monster Hunter, and I could see me, like, messing them up. There's clan raids here, so, um, I'm st I, I just logged in to see what's going on here, and it looks like the clan, together, attacks whatever boss is here, and this is the HP on the left side, so I think this is pretty interesting, I think it's pretty cool, and we have tickets here, so I have, I spent one earlier just to kind of see, but let's go ahead and, and dive into... Uh, one of them right here. Oh, because I used this team already, I can't reuse them again. And I think this is on a timer. So this resets every... I'm, I'm not sure. What does this do? Uh-oh. What did I just do? What was that? Um, yeah, every... You know, when this timer goes up, it's going to reset. So let's just hit the same one I already hit. Um, I'm going to throw in some champions. These guys do not have any gear on them. But at least you guys can see what it looks like. The animations. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit so you can see. This is the boss. It's immersive. This is something that I really enjoy. I think this is really cool. And he totally like ganked me. I, we just started. And he's already like, yeah, oh, you're get out of here. Get, get out of here. But yeah, this looks like the version of a um, a clan boss. He's, he's gonna wreck my little butterfly. So let's just. Uh, yeah, I'm basically doing nothing. I'm like going into a clan and not even getting the, the bottom chest for that. So there's that in the clan. I joined a random clan. I, I just kind of found one that was open. Um, not really sure if I'm gonna make my own clan in the future or, or what I'm gonna do. Um, in the beginning, they're very giving, they give us a lot of resources and everything. So. I'm noticing that, and I understand why they do that, to sucker, to sucker, I don't want to say sucker us in, because I don't know if that's the type of game this is yet, which, you know, you, you kind of have to just go in with the mindset that any mobile gacha game is going to try to advertise themselves, and psychologically get you into the game, and the way they do, the way that they do that is by giving you guys a lot of um, resources and boosts in the beginning to help you feel like you've progressed, that sense of accomplishment and the deeper, they're, they're basically reeling you in. I got this legendary champion from the story mode, Tristan. I don't know if he's good or not. I'm gonna find out. Um, like, He looks cool enough. He's in his 20s. That's nice to know. <laughs> uh, he, we, we have team leader effects and these apply in different areas. So he works in the dungeons. I like this attack speed plus 15%. Somebody told me that K, was a really good champion 
or hero to invest in. So I've advanced her. I'm going to work on her. I'm going to um, start giving her more uh, attention, basically. I love my wife, but I'm going to start giving this girl a little more attention. And um, I'm still not too sure what to do with the strengthening of relics. Okay, we have to unlock the forge. That's pretty cool that they have a, a character bio. I just like the aesthetics. I like that we can see things in a 3D aspect deeper than... Um, like, like, look at the angles. Look at the angles that you can get. You can look up and down. And I'm trying my best not to, uh, you know, draw comparisons with Raid. But you can't... Like, I've been... I've, I played Raid for six years. So that's my baseline and understanding of a gacha mobile game, right? And then when you take a look at the boss fight that we just had, it's just like, wow, that's, that's, that's intense. That's immersive. That's interactive. Now, there's all these... Um, things on the side. I don't. I don't know what any of these are. Um, I, don't, I don't know what these resources are. Um, that's gold. I don't know. If, okay, so this is gold that we can use whatever for whatever we're gonna use. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna upgrade gear later. I like how they distinguish here: paid crystals versus free uh, free crystals. So that's pretty cool. Forbidden dungeon tickets. What's that? It's forbidden, and yet I have a ticket to get in. Let's look at the market. This changes every now and then. Uh, okay, I guess we, this this is something that we need for hero advancement. So let's let's buy two of those. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a plan, man. We can get a one refresher, and we're gonna buy these two. I'm not sure how difficult or, or how easy that's gonna be to get in the future, but we'll see. You have available achievement rewards to claim right now. Okay, I'm still looking for the one thing that I can follow after I do story mode. But for now, we're gonna go a little bit further into story mode and we're working towards chapter five. I want to I want to beat chapter five so that we can go to the dungeons and I can start farming gear because I know that once I can start farming equipment, it's a wrap, bro. I'm about to get in. I wanna dump all my energy into the dungeons. It's gonna be dungeon farming forever. So let's go ahead and uh, try our hand at uh, fighting for seven. Now, I don't think... I started noticing that the enemies were getting harder. So, I don't know. I don't Is think I'm going to be able to beat this Morgan. No, a troop of, a troop of jesters. jesters. They all seem they all cool, seem enough. cool enough. Well, how fascinating. How? All right, let's go. Let's just fight. Let's 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 start throwing, throwing swords and daggers and hands at each other. Okay. So... I think one thing that I really liked is if you're looking for somebody who has a leader effect that is applicable to the area that you're trying to use them in, this shows up right here. So what you can do is automate or shoot. That's not like, oh, hold up. Let's say he was in. Okay, there you go. Let's say, let's say he was in and you're like, oh, well, I don't know who I have down here who could come in here and give a, uh, an aura boost, well, you just take them off. And this right here, this leader effect shows up on the left. I thought that was neat. I thought that was nice. I thought that was very demure. I dug it. I dig it. I'm with it. So we're going to go in. The main character, Arthur, gives us max 20% HP. I'm curious to see if this guy is worth investing in. He's the main character, and he seems a lot more important than... Like in Raid, for an example, you choose your, your your starter champion, but they're not really integral to the entire story or, or anything. Like, you could basically scrap Kale if you want and just feed him to somebody else. I don't feel that way about this champion. I feel like he's so prevalent in the entire story, at least for now, that he seems like somebody that could be worth investing in. Do I know that to be true? I don't know. I also like this champion here because she's a healer. I don't know what... The, I, f I keep forgetting what this legendary champion does, but because he's a legendary champion, I'm going to keep him. Now that I'm looking at this, we have three spirit affinity... Um, well, now we have four. And I just realized that their affinity type shows up here. And we want to have the 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 advantage here so what is what is this increases xp gain from winning battles by five percent and gold by 5.5 percent oh clan level benefits so you get benefits from being in a clan cool so let's start this battle let's get to it all right first wave that's right when it's nighttime we 
um, you know, have to deal with a, a little bit of a either a debuff or a buff, depending on the champions that you go into the fight with. Now, I'm still not sure exactly what means what. I'm assuming the the red is the... Yeah, that's that's what it is. The debuffs are the red and then the blues. It kind of looked gray to me. I wasn't sure. The, the grays are um, a boost. Of course, there's an arrow going up. That should have been more obvious. Smiting through. As you can see, we're not one-shotting. We're not doing significant amounts of damage. And that's because of gear. Gear is everything. There she is. Oh my god. I love my wife. Mommy. <laughs> Just... <laughs> sorry. Sorry. No, I really do love my wife. Alright, so... <laughs> I was just like, wow! Oh boy. My wife's gonna kill me if she sees this. That's the plan though. My, my plan is to just upload so many videos that my wife... Because when I first started YouTube, I would upload like a few videos here and there. I thought that I had to just stagger my videos, but then I realized I can just upload my videos whenever and it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and so my wife used to watch me all the time whenever I would upload. And then she noticed that I started uploading like 10 videos in a day. And then she was like, all right, well, I can't keep up. So now, now that's, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the plan. You know, just keep uploading so much. Why did she come back to life? This this main, main boss came back to life. Just keep uploading so much volume that it gets oversaturated and she just won't bother watching anymore. I'm just kidding. Kind of. That, that wasn't the plan, it just kind of happened like that. But also, I don't blame my wife. Like, She's not really into this kind of stuff, so it is what it is. And there we go, we have victory. And we have some nice boots here. Now, when it comes to learning about the gear, I think that's going to be like a separate video that I'm going to have to really dive into. So the way that I'm understanding it, as I'm looking at it right now, this top one is the main stat, right? Boots, in my experience, you want them to be speed boots. This looks like it's just flat HP, but I'm not sure how the rest of this works. But again, we'll find out more about that later. Such a Such quick, quick student, student of power. power. I'm impressed. I Thank you. Oh, oh, are we just going to stand here? Okay. Ban. His name is Ban. The forge is now at your service. Unlock the forge and the wonders of its hearth. Tap the lock icon to unlock the building. Okay, cool. So now we can enhance equipment. Equipment. And he's going to show us how. All right, show us how, dude. I don't want to enhance. I don't want to upgrade this helmet though. This is not the helmet that I'll find. Fuck it. All right, you can check the selected equipment's enchantment level. Oh, okay. So we can enchant, and the stats show up here. Is this this is the same as upgrading? Yeah, this is the gold. This is uh, this is upgrading. This is upgrading gear. Okay, gotcha. Got it. Get it. Good. And you can max out even and click enhance. Remember, you can select the equipment from your inventory to enhance. Now that you know how to enhance your equipment, let's return to the forge. Okay, cool. Tap to enter the forge. Why did we leave the forge just to come right back in? At the forge, you can purchase and craft equipment and change stats. Okay. Who is this? In the equipment shop, you can periodically purchase new pieces of equipment. And uh, first tap the change stats to open the menu. Changing stats allows a piece of equipment's sub stat, sub stats to be swapped out for other subbies. So this is like re-rolling almost, pretty much. So okay, and then we have to use uh, dust in order to change, and it costs gold, of course. Oh, I don't have dust, so I'm not changing anything right now. Plus, that's not something I think that I'd want to do right now. I'll probably have to go back and, and see how it is. Um, some people were asking how to download this game. It's not available on mobile yet. 
it's only in the in the pre-order or not pre-order um they're still getting it ready basically so it's not available right now it's available on pc if you just go to um king arthur uh, legends rise and then you go to their website and on the top right there was something that said like pc download or something and that's how i i got it i just got the download link for windows and then if you're on iphone or not iphone i i uh what's the other thing apple then they have an apple link as well so woke up to the sunshine all right speak to k i've got word from gawain all right so now they're giving us another mission and so going back to story mode, we're going to be able to do chapter five. And um, after chapter five, I think after chapter five, five, we will, that's the Knight's Camp, we will be able to start farming gear. Woke up to the sunshine, and now I'm hiding.